Welcome. In front of me is a Do Doji Dodgy uh, S50, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. <clears throat> Sorry. So I'm gonna simply progress a little bit further into the setup just so you can see that the device is locked and number one I can't bypass the uh, connection as you can see already uh, so let's connect to the network and in the process while I'm doing that you should also connect to Wi-Fi um, so I want to do that and while I'm connecting to Wi-Fi okay so once you connect to Wi-Fi you can then go back to the first page it doesn't really matter and you can just wait for and they still finish doing whatever it's right now trying to do. Okay, so there we go. Verify your account and without it I can't really progress any further. So to bypass this we're gonna need a couple of things. Number one uh, is gonna be an SD card. Uh, this is a mandatory thing. Uh, without it you can't really do anything. And you're also gonna need a Wi-Fi connection which also without that you can't really do anything. And uh, the SD card, you want to download the uh, two apps that are provided in the description. You can see them right here, faintly right behind the phone. So you have the FRP Bypass app and the Android Settings app. You can literally see it right here. Uh, so the link should be provided there. If by some chance it's not, you just want to search for this device itself on our website, the hard reset.info. And once you find your device, go in here and in the categories you will find bypass Google verification. And there will be like three steps there, or well, three different variants. It's the third one. And from here, you will have the two links. So once you have do downloaded the two apps, uh, you want to place them on the SD card itself and then slap that SD card into the device. Let's just go back to the first page. So yeah, let's slap it in here. As you can see, it's there. Oops, don't fall out. There we go. And slide it in there all the way. That will prompt you with this message. So SD card ready. Do you want to change? Uh, yep, we do. And once you do, tap on your SD card right here. And at the bottom, you'll have the apps that you have downloaded. Now, for me, there is four, but these two don't matter. They're not even relevant to this process. Only the FRP right here on the top and then the settings on the bottom. So. To begin, we're gonna start by installing the FRP app. So let's stop here, then go into settings because we need to unlock the unknown sources. So check that on, confirm it. And you can see now it's checked. So go back and tap on the FRP once more. And this time let's tap on next and install. And once it installs, you just want to click on done. Yeah, so once it's done, there we go. And you will be back in your SD card. So now you want to install the settings, install. And this time around, you want to open it up. And from the settings app itself, you want to, number one, scroll to security right here. Scroll a little bit down and you'll find device administrators. And you want to turn off find my device. So tap on it deactivate this device administrator yep and you can see now it's checked off let's go back and let's go back once more and we're back in the main settings page and this time around we want to deactivate two other things so let's go into the apps tap on the three dots right here and choose show system and from here we want to de deactivate google account manager so you can grab this and just scroll down to g there we go Google Account Manager, so it's gonna be right here. See it, Google Account Manager, disable, disable app, go back, and you can see that it's now disabled. And now we want to disable Google Play Services. So it's right here. And again, disable, disable app, go back. And you can see, it, whoops, it was also disabled until, there we go, and it's disabled. So both of them are now disabled and you want to go from here into accounts. So right here, tap on add account and choose Google. 
and here you want to input a Google account, uh, any kind of one, it doesn't really matter what it is, it can be old or new, uh, you could create one, I, although I would advise on creating an account on your computer rather than right here, not really sure how it would, how it would work uh, while the device is theoretically still locked. So, uh, like I said, I advise on doing this on the computer and then using that account to log in here. So, once you create an account or you're just using one that exists already, it's just, I'm gonna use mine. Okay, let's go to next. And now I'm gonna put in the password for it, so let me just do that off the screen. Let's do next, and you can see we got the uh, most welcoming screen of all, the terms of service from Google. So let's just tap on I agree because it's not like we have a choice. And disregard this, um, the app will be crashing from now on. Uh, we'll deal with that soon. Um, basically, just gonna explain what is happening. The app is crashing, but it already has done its thing. This app was needed for us to actually have the Google account uh, option visible. Without this app, uh, if you would go into adding an account, uh, you wouldn't even see the Google option. So it has done uh, its job and now it can keep crashing. It doesn't really matter at this moment. So from here, we want to go back to apps and re-enable the two uh, Google services uh, that we have disabled. So let's go back to apps and then show system. Now let's go to G, and there we go. We have Google Play Services, enable, go back. And we also have the Google Account Manager, enable, go back. And once you have enabled both of them, you can hold power key and tap on restart or reboot and tap on OK. Okay, so as you can see, we're back in the setup screen. So let's go to the setup process this time around. And the process is nearly complete, but um, not yet. We still need to perform a reset of the device. So uh, once you see that we're on the home screen, don't skip just yet. We will not be done yet. So there we go. The first thing you can see, uh, account added. And it's the account that I have provided right before the reset. And this is the screen that was previously telling us um, that we need to verify the account. So now it thinks that we have added a new account and it's the one that was right before the reboot. So let's skip through this and just gain access to the home screen. Now it would be really nice if Google could do whatever it's doing quicker or just completely skip it, but unfortunately we don't really have that option, at least not at this moment. As long as we're connected to network, it's just gonna look for some, not really sure what. Okay, so let's just skip this. It won't really matter what we choose right now. We just want to skip through all of this, like I said, to just gain access to the home screen. So I'll tap on next and no thanks. Set, all set and we should be, there we go, on the home screen. Let's go into the settings now. Scroll all the way down and tap on backup and reset and factory data reset. And here you can see it gives us a message that uh, your Google account will be removed and it provides also the account that will be removed and also doesn't actually show you the account that is blocking us that is actually still on the device. So once we tap on reset phone and basically erase everything, it will remove this account along with the other one. And also it removes the two apps uh, that we used for um, basically logging into Google that are, you can see are right now crashing like crazy. So, um, it will basically clear the device of everything and the device then will be fully unlocked. So let's stop on the reset phone, erase everything and the process will begin. And this will take, well, as however long it normally takes you to do a factory reset of the device. 
so probably a couple of minutes and once it's finished we will be back in the setup screen but this time around we can just set up the device as however we like the device will be fully unlocked so i'll be back once the setup screen is visible Okay, so we're back in the setup screen. So let's just set up the device now. Now this time around, I'm also gonna skip most of the things that I can just to preserve one time. But like I said previously, you can set up your device as however you like. So let's just tap on don't use any network for setup, which previously was not there. Next, <coughs> next, skip skip anyway more and more and agree all set and we're done and you can see there was no need to verify anything the apps that were crashing are gone the accounts that were blocking us are also gone and the device is now fully unlocked so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching